Hello, I am in Abu Dhabi in United Arab Emirates driving around and looking for cars. I actually moved here to this country in February this year and that's why there is not so much updates on my projects. But I will work on my Swedish cars from time to time when I get back to Sweden. After not uh, have been working with cars for um, several months uh, I really need something to work on it and my new home I have here I actually got a um, little garage there so I will show you that one so I will be able to work on cars here so now I have to familiarize with these areas here a big industrial areas here in Mosafa uh, Abu Dhabi and uh, there is a lot of cars and uh, shops here so I'm driving around and hopefully can find something standing outside that is interesting and uh, I can build something of or make. Cool thing about these areas a lot of like construction and workshops and welding shops and uh, in the middle here you find the Rolls Royce with the number 10 on the license plate. Um, I'm driving by some uh, workshops to see um, if there are any cars standing outside for sale maybe. Inside here I found uh, a Supra and a Lamborghini Gallardo without engine another time. And uh, now outside here it's a Mansory Bentley. I think it's been standing here for some time. Windows a little bit open. Yeah, you can see those uh, signature carbon fiber on the steering wheel there. But the owner was not here today either, so maybe come back another time, see if they have any car for sale. Some BMWs on the other side. Yeah, pick up. And uh, Forge. Looks like an M3 and a Subaru. I think I'm gonna check here if they're for sale or not. I just talked with the owner here of the shop and it was not a real M3, just the optics, not the engine. I actually found a Superleggero, here a grey one, pretty good price for this one. You can see that this one has been in the sun, a really nice interior, carbon fiber. Would be nice to have another Superleggero and keep it stock no turbos. It actually also have the 560 front bumper that I have. Would need a little bit touch up. But I really love the sound of these ones, V10s. Same interior as mine, steering wheel, everything, same specifications. Steel brakes on this one, not the carbon ceramics that I have. You see the glass bonnet here, faded from the sun. I don't know if it's possible to polish it or if it needs to be replaced. Some other cars here, Porsche. We are at Carbon Motors in Dubai. Beautiful rolls, SLS. These ones are a little bit too much for me, but Oh, damn. they're so nice, these Lamborghinis here, so I have to show this. Um, we have a black Aventador and a Performante Huracan. Brand new one. Very nice color, this one. And these center locks. Brand new, carbon ceramics. We have all of this forged carbon fiber. Let's go inside and see what they have. And we are at Arlo Cars. Mm -hmm. Here, two Lamborghinis, Aventador SVs. Yellow one and this white one, very beautiful. Tinted front window, all blacked out windows. And this carbon fiber to the white color car. It's beautiful. Oh, here is the satin carbon fiber against the white and the gloss on the mirrors. Center locks, of course. Same as this one. All center lock Lamborghinis in this store. 
the floor is still the four legs and eight twelve super fast here. Also two new Ferrari four eight eight pista, beautiful specification, and um, this one have the carbon fiber package. Carbon ceramics, beautiful new. One thing I think is cool on some new cars, the inner fender liners are like some fabric, soft. Hollow cars. And this taillights almost blacked out on the 812 super fast. Someday maybe, but ah, take a walk and see what we can find else here. Okay, here we have a Nissan Patrol, top turbo, turbo converted one. I don't know what ECU it is in it, uh, it's a Smotec here, maybe it is. We got a aeromotive, fuel pressure regulator, a lot of stuff here. Intercooler. Yeah, this one would be cool. XCD, maybe XCD racing clutch in it. Yeah, some inlets here for the turbo. Good uh, that it has this uh, block off for the air filter. Yeah, it's so cool this one. It's the 4,800 BTC, 4,800 BTC, 4.8 liter. Hmm. Very tight here. Tow hook, good. Looking clean, this car. Here's another patrol, no turbo on this one. Some other wheels completely tinted out impossible to see in super safari and to be honest when i lived here uh, a couple of years ago in dubai i saw this all the time but didn't think especially much about them uh, but now i think they are really cool actually and uh, because they have this good tb48 4.8 liter straight six engine uh, it makes it very cool and uh, so it would be nice to have uh, one turbo of this one play on the street and uh, in the sand I don't know what year model this one is, but uh, they, It's possible to buy them now 2020 brand new ones This one looking pretty new This time I lived in UAE, I lived in Dubai and then I did not have any garage at all I was working a little bit with my Lamborghini I bought in uh, the normal parking garage but now I have a little garage. It's not that big, it's only one car garage. Depending on the size of the car I buy, I will be able to do some work here. When I was little, I was actually working in a smaller garage than this one's at my parents' house. And I did the engine swaps and the gearbox built a lot of art tractors and stuff like that. Yeah, my daily driver outside here. One thing. I have done here is that this room in here is actually a maid's room it's supposed to be a bed for a maid and uh, yeah washing machine now I will not have a maid here so this is my like mechanics room so here I can do some bench work bought this from from IKEA shelf from IKEA good to store some parts uh, had some toolboxes. Yeah, I actually got uh, this toolbox I bought here in UAE. It's, uh, I don't know, Dato Tools, never heard about it, but yeah, good price for it. And yeah, have a couple of drawers here with most of the things that's needed. So yeah, a little bit prepared. Better than the last time I lived in this country, then I just bought a small box. Also, I had some tools and stuff uh, from Sweden I brought in. I have this uh, machine here that I started building a couple years ago. Maybe I will go into that one later, what kind of machine that one is. 
yeah, some parts there as well. So, yeah, good little mechanic room for some projects. Still need to buy some tools and stuff like that. And yeah, it will not be projects uh, big as the ones I have in Sweden here. I'm used to do uh, everything myself on my cars, but here I will be a little bit limited because uh, I don't have all the equipment. But there is a lot of shops here in the country. So if I need to do something, there's always possibilities to have stuff done here in the country. One other thing I have been thinking about, it is um, boats. I'm not a boat uh, person, but uh, I live next to a little marina here some boats it would be really cool with a little boat with the 2j 2dc toyota super engine with a, a single turbo one other good thing here is i have some parking spaces so when i lived in dubai it was very limited and if i wanted extra parking spaces it was very expensive just a little marina and uh, a little beach over here my daily driver here jeep and uh, Last couple of years I have been living in a small apartment, 20 square meters, 200 square feet, very small, almost yeah, like this uh, garage, a little bit bigger than this garage is where I've been living for a couple of years. So nice to have a little bit bigger now. In my little office here upstairs I also got my 3D printer here back from uh, Sweden so I can make some prototypes and uh, yeah, maybe some uh, interior stuff or whatever. It's actually really cool and uh, fun to play around with a 3D printer. Build some stuff. I'm in Ibn Mansi uh, showroom and uh, some very unique cars here. Can you guess what this is? Very cool looking. Yeah, it's a Citroen. Alpina. 6 series Mansory modified Panamera with this little um, special uh, bigger weave that they usually have Mansory and uh, yeah special body kit to this one here we have another Porsche Panamera Turbo this one and it's a convertible very unique, I think. Four door convertible, looking really good. Here on the outside, it's in Skyline GTS, old one. There is mirrors here on the front fenders, really cool. Clean looking here. It has some uh, over fender. Things there, manual gearbox, of course. Skyline. Got a GTR emblem on there. I'm not uh, that good at these old uh, Nissans. If this is original GTR, maybe it is. Next to this one, and Hummer H2. But with a little bit bigger tires. Nice cool paint on this one, looking fresh. Fox shocks and to compare the height yeah here's a more stock one the hood is almost as high as the roof of this one deep dish rims and I'm not sure I have seen this car before uh, I know Fisker Karma the one with the solar panel roof I've seen a couple of them but this a bit more sporty model type Tramonto, Fisker Tramonto, 2007. Hmm. Uh, 180,000, yeah, 50,000 dollars for this one. Um, yeah, very cool looking. I don't know if this one is also a hybrid or if it is uh, internal combustion engine. We need a little bit of air in the tires there. Two older BMWs, 635 and 3 Series. And uh, yeah, this one looking cool with the hood going um, down a little bit. Fresh in the paint, by the way. Classic BBS rims on this one, 15 inch, of course. Looking very fresh. Very nice interior. 
and I think this is the American bumpers. Another SV green here. We have a couple of Porsches, Mercedes, Black Series. We have an SLS there, and we have a Ferrari. 430 Scuderia. And this is uh, a little bit in the same era as my Superleggera. And I think it's the, a little bit lightweight version as well. A little bit more carbon fiber like the Superleggera. And uh, no floor mats. Yeah, so it's the more racier version of it. You can see here it's a tribute to 2007 uh, Formula One world champion. And the SLR 722. Great fins and very long hood here very cool and classic arc many of these actually here in uh, middle east ue popular ones here ac cobra wooden steering wheel very nice looking with these goodyear tires looking very racy yeah many cool things oh, hood open here let's see we have the 4x4 square and uh, yeah, some turbos lurking there. Not so fun to see the engines of today's cars. Very compact, everything, but it's incredible engines, good engines. But uh, now, once again, I think I'm looking for a bit too nice cars for my what I want to have now. This one is cool, it's a Volvo 850 T5R. It's called Tegul in Sweden, t Jello. And uh, yeah, it was an, it is an iconic car in Sweden. Actually, when this came out, it was the first car with this color and uh, many other older Volvos painted uh, in the same uh, color there. I think the prices has gone up on these ones uh, pretty much actually. And this one is actually really nice, no rust, anything. It would be really cool to have one of these, but it's not really a project car. It should be uh, to have it stock, I think, not to tune it, uh, make more horsepower. In, even if this five-cylinder uh, Volvo engine, aluminum engine, is possible to take out a lot of horsepower from it. Yeah, it was very fresh, this one, for being in Volvo 850 Alcantara. Here in the seats. I've never been riding in one of these. Um, I don't know if it's kilometers, miles, 6,000. I don't think it has a lot of miles, this one. Aromatic gear. And these uh, Titan, as these are called wheels. I had them on my Volvo 740 once upon a time. Yeah, very cool. T5R 850. Also here in the same showroom as the Volvo. It's a drone for uh, person transportation. Um, it's a prototype, so it's not longer in use this one, but it has been flying with the um, person on board. So will we see someday people flying around in drones like this? I don't know. Also here we have a little bit more normal Fisker, Fisker Karma. I think these ones are really cool, hybrids. Very nice interior and the built in Finland, these ones. So that's cool. Have this solar panel roof as well. But this one went bankruptcy, so they are not built anymore. It's a big car, wide. Now it's the Teslas that make the EVs. Found the cool yellow Testarossa. Nice interior here. Of course the manual gated shifter there. It's cool with this air inlets here on the door. It goes to, I think, the radiators here. Yeah, should be the radiator. Yeah, this is a brand new 2020 Patrol with a manual gear, so it has the gear stick here. 
brand new full options in this one should be 17. these have been um, almost the same for many years these they changed this one the interface one. okay here for but the body style is almost the same yes. for many years here some of the safaris and here are some super safaris and I'm just learning now here what's the differences a um, little bit nicer interior I think manual gearbox is the best if you want to put the turbo and a little bit higher horsepower this little spoiler here and some cooler colors maybe on the super safari on the way here to the motor world and and yellow Aventador. This is uh, Motor World in Abu Dhabi. It's uh, a little bit similar to the auto market they have in Dubai there. We have all these uh, showrooms and uh, cars at uh, one location. So I'll drive around and see if I can find anything interesting. The Nismo Patrol, new one, 2018 Patrol. These are actually really good in the sand if you take a little bit air out of the tires. Some gauges there. Sporty hood here. Nobody here, so nobody to talk to. Here we have an SL65 with a body kit. Blue nice R7 here. And we have the Maiba. These are cool, and one cool thing is that it have yeah uh, two brake calipers, one there and one there. These are huge cars, very big, like Rolls Royces. Nothing for a project car for me. Actually, I don't know really what I want to have. Looking good. This uh, all blacked out. Uh, patrol it has red I think it's a special interior and automatic gearbox the old boxy patrol is cool and a little mini it's many of these uh, stores a couple of blocks here and uh, but not that many sports cars here we have a Bentley looks a little bit crooked front suspension there low we have some American cars here. Nice old Corolla. This one with a 2J maybe. Manual, four speed. Looks like original. Four door. But uh, not that many sports cars that uh, you can see in Dubai actually. And uh, the same on streets that I've noticed. In Dubai you can see Lamborghinis, Ferraris, now and then on the streets here I've not seen that many of those of course there is expensive nice like G wagons like these cars on the streets but not those extreme sports cars I found a very nice speed shop here and let's see what's inside here we have the new GTR and uh, Supra MK4 Supra okay it's working here we have the offices and the um, showroom up there. Evo 6 on the lift, looks like. It has the RMM front lip there. Left and drive, six speed manual. Nice rims and uh, I like the stock big uh, wing, back wing here. All of the cars here have uh, like the R tires. They are uh, in like race condition. Time attack and just track racing nice gearbox very nice speed shop stop tech brakes and lurking in there another black Supra big turbo it's a dyno in there actually and here we have a time attack car it's an evo with uh, yeah it's a serious build this one wide body left and drive 
It has the sequential shifter there, also paddle shift, the famous 4G63 engine, and a pretty big turbo there, Magnus Motorsport intake manifold with a Bosch throttle body, carbon fiber intake there for the air filter. I have to look at the Supra in here, in the dyno. It actually has the work Meisters, similar to what I had on my Supra, but with the black center here. Toyo triple eights, I guess. Very nice and clean interior. Nice intake, looks like a hypertune intake here with an adapter to fit the Bosch throttle body. Some Titan cam gears and the precision turbo, pretty big one. They will tune it and uh, think about 900,000 horsepower, something like that. Very nice to see and uh, would be nice to hear it. Awesome sound from these ones. Very clean this GTR Tensai. I guess it's tuned as well. They had a lot of parts for the GTRs. And the R34 here, V-Spec, white, very clean and nice one. It is left-hand drive. I was asking if they have any cars for sale or some old project standing somewhere uh, that they could sell, but no, not really. Maybe it was like a Time Attack uh, Subaru or something like that, but uh, no. here's a um, white body Evo. It's a left and dry one. Carbon fiber stuff. It is intercooler there, but uh, no really cars for sale here. But it's very good to know that uh, there is um, some guys that have nice spare parts and uh, oh, CTSV, very clean one. Some cool cars here. You can see here from the outside. I think this is the place to go if you have like an Evo or something here in Abu Dhabi. Evo 10 here, looking cool. This Enkai rims, gray, death gray Evo. Okay, let's go and see if we can find something else.